Go eat Robert's gourmet delicacy. Oh my god, his ass. <laughs> Well, what are you putting in front of me is a molecularly deconstructed sweet potato with the brown sugar demi glaze with cream fraise, of course. This is literally a jar of baby food. The toddler immediately bursts into tears like I was earlier. Honestly, Emmanuel, if I was not with you, I'd be a slut. I know, you said that. You said it to your co-workers, you said it to to your sister, I'm sure. Just You said it to everybody. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Marla Plays. I am Manuel. I am Perla. We're going to keep playing Dream Daddy. We're going to try to seduce Robert again. I'm needy. Yeah. I need to see him. I need yeah. him to like me. He doesn't like me. He Why doesn't, doesn't like he you. like me? I don't know. We, we... Why doesn't he like me? What did I do? We, we slept with him on the first date, maybe? That doesn't mean anything. Don't slush me, Manuel. <laughs> no, I think that maybe he won't think we respect ourselves. No, that's slush you. All right, then. Hey, Robert, good seeing you again at the cookout. Want to grab a drink? All right. I sit there for a couple seconds hoping he'll message me back. <laughs> Please get back to me. Hey. hey it says that he read me. Oh. Oh. He left me on red. Squid on my thumbs. I'm going to watch cat videos. All right. Uh, oh, he quickly vanishes from my mind. I didn't realize how long I've been doing this, but by the time I watched me in my 30th cat video, Robert pops back into my head. I jumped back over to Dad's book to see if he's responded yet. Ah, wow. <laughs> well, I guess this guy's busy. I, this makes me want him more because oh, I want wow. him to want me. <laughs> I get up, walk to the living room, and sit down and turn on the TV. Mm. Um, yeah, it's three channel. Oh, Ooh, naked like... and afraid, catching the deadly and ancient aliens. That's me. Uh, I'm so cold. I'm so scared at this rate. I don't think we're going to catch these aliens by day 50. <laughs> I'm having trouble following this. <laughs> ancient astronaut theorists predict that being naked makes you ten times more likely to find ancient aliens. Some suggest that aliens are fascinated with the human physique, most notably the butt. Stop it, Perla. Okay, I'm back in. Yeah, the butt. I lost several hours to whatever the hell that was. Time for lunch. Huh. Well, I guess it's time for old Chef Laffles to cook a gourmet delicacy. Go eat Robert's gourmet delicacy. Oh my god, his ass. <laughs> no, he's couscous. Whatever he made last time. Okubusu. A Make kubusu. a sandwich. Make a sandwich. Nice, alright. Who needs plates? The sandwich. The sandwich. A lost art. <laughs> I'm admire my work for a second before I clumsily drop the entire oh thing on the god. floor. No. Oh my god. <laughs> I look around, remember the man is not home. Do not. Eat this it is from so, the floor. This is so good. Five second rule. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <sighs> In my mouth. Wait, I'm a wreck. Yeah, because Jesus I want Christ. Robert to respond. Why? Oh, oh, I just remembered something. We were packing up the old house. We found an old basketball hoop that would hang off the door. Please do not go play basketball and hurt yourself. <sighs> I'm ready to dunk. Come on, Insulin, <laughs> and welcome to Japan. I love oh that <laughs> picture. And welcome to the jam. jam. Oh, oh. Breaking ankles and sinking a fade away. I <laughs> forgot the rest of the words of this song. <laughs> they hand the book to the <coughs> black cook shop. Everyone's on their feet. Something, something, space jam. <laughs> I managed to just barely defeat myself at horse before Amanda comes home. Then we cooked dinner together. We're proud of ourselves for not even coming close to burning down the house. Yes, nice. Afterwards, we dig into a carton of ice cream over an episode of Chopped Toddler Tournament. What? <laughs> well, what, what are you putting in front of me is a molecularly deconstructed sweet potato <laughs> with the brown sugar demi glaze with cream fraise, of course. <laughs> this is it's literally a jar of baby food. <laughs> the toddler immediately bursts into tears like I was earlier. <laughs> Are we bad people for watching this? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. After a few more episodes, Amanda goes to bed. I check him. Oh, is he wow. going? Oh, it's still nothing. This entire still day. Nothing. Is he ignoring me? <laughs> I just can't stop wondering why Robert won't message me back. Oh, well, I can a... be a booty call. This is a quick date, <laughs> this I guess. This is a date complete. What the fuck? Wait, why am I so we, like... We did nothing. 
Uh, okay. Why we did nothing. <sighs> Go on all robber dates, that's it? Nice bet? What does that mean? I don't know. It just says, like, go on all robber dates. You can try again if you want, but I'm okay. not sure. Okay. <laughs> wow, you jumped on that real quick. No, wait. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta message him. <laughs> try not to make assumptions about people. Yeah, like, Robert doesn't not like yeah, me. Yeah, he doesn't just... hate me. It's fine. <laughs> I really right. enjoyed the night I spent with Robert, but he's been dodging me ever since. I really want to see him again. I've tried messaging him a few times, and Dad looks and says he hasn't read them. I haven't even seen him come out of the, his house, actually. Where is oh my god, are you stalking him? I decided to send him one last message, figuring that this will produce the same result. God, we're but it won't. Hey, him. man. Don't know where you've been, but we should grab a drink soon. I walk away from the computer, because at this point, I know he's not messing me back anytime soon. He's gonna show up at the front door? <laughs> I linger in the kitchen. I'm all caught up on work. The house is relatively clean. Maybe I should do something nice. For I was Amanda. kidnapped for a few days. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, I'm gonna be baking something for Mandy. Mandy, Mandy, my mm. little Mandy girl. Mandy. Cream pie? Oh my god. No, Dude. ew, that's our child, Daniel! No, not for Amanda. Oh my god. You're making that's a for pie Robert. for a kid! Oh, right I now. didn't catch that part. Oh my god. Oh. Ew! No, not Ask a cream pie. Go. Uh, cherry pie or apple pie. That one would be good. I forget. I don't know what uh, they're asking. More me. cherries. Duh. <clears throat> oh my god, let's turn. Oh Oops. no. Oops. Okay, oh, we're not gonna. No. We're not doing well. I know how to make a pie. This motherfucker doesn't know how to make a pie. You just follow a recipe. It's right there. It comes in the box. <laughs> Yo, pups. What smells like pie in here? Probably the pie. It's pie, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda darts over to the oven and looks inside. Yes. Hey, it's not done. Be patient. Mm -hmm. What's your angle here? What? Hmm. Pies are an objective-based confection. What are you trying to get out of me? Mmm. Can't the dad bake his daughter a pie for no reason other than to make her happy? I don't trust him. <laughs> I'll wait a few more minutes before <clears throat> taking the pie out of the oven. I set it on the rack to cool and guard it so man doesn't dig mm. into it before it's ready. Huh. Hmm. What? Does it look kind of weird to you? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Uh, that's just me taking artic artistic license on what cherry pie means to me emotionally. Sadness. I'm just saying this because, you know, it seems like you might have baked this pie incorrectly. And you're currently right now trying to pass it off as a good thing. It's art, sweetie. You're an artist, you know. What is art when you accidentally bake the whole uncracked egg into the center of my 12th birthday oh. cake? Oh, well, it's... Uh... Ah, what is art when you try to make brownies and accidentally create a chlorine gas? Oh my god. Why do you do well, that? Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. What is art when you... Was it Just art? eat the pine, panda. <laughs> I cut a few slices and we sit down to eat. The cherry filling oozes out of the side and the buttery crust... Crust listens and watches mm. Amanda takes a bite. Uh, What's wrong? Is it not good? Know. Amanda winces and fans her mouth. Is it spicy? No, no. I just burned the heck out of the roof of my pie of my mouth. The pie is amazing. She's lying. Sorry for doubting you. Are you dying? Oh, lying? she's gonna cry. It looks like. <laughs> okay, the pie is pretty incredible. Woo. I'm really proud of you for making a pie without burning the new house down. Nice. I got a few dad tricks up my dad's sleeve. Maybe far the fathers aren't as bumbling and stupid as the media make us out to be. Maybe we as a society should have a little more respect for fathers as a whole. Maybe if I didn't dad, read that like bumbling. Fire. Oh my god. I run to the sink and put myself out. <clears throat> Amanda and I clean up the kitchen and play a little more living room hoops before she retreats to her room to do homework. I go back to my word jumbles. Hey, this one spells cat. Hmm. Ah. Robert, <laughs> Robert, where are you? Where for art thou, Robert? I don't like you. Ah, <sighs> still nothing. nothing from Robert. I uh, hope he's okay. I turn out the lights and light down. Uh, huh? Oh, hey, oh. Ah, ah! hey, Gaffles. Gaffles. Hey, 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 Gaffles. Oh, hey, come on. Oh. Ah! What is this? I just saw Virgil falling asleep. I climb out of bed. I try to identify the source of the thing in my computer. Seems oh, screen illuminates in the dark room. Go. I walk over to it, he ready to turn it off. Five... And I notice what's happening on screen. He ignored you for like five. <gasps> oh no. Winky face! Winky face! Oh no. <laughs> oh, he can't... might be drunk. I did have fun with him the other night. Yeah. No, okay. no, go to bed. Okay. Oh no. Okay, I'll be right over. Yeah, yeah. You're you gonna, gonna kick, kick me out this time? time? Maybe. Maybe. Ah, hurry up. Hurry up. God damn it. <laughs> I reluctantly throw on the jacket and head outside. No, I don't like oh. <laughs> The door is already unlocked. 
as much as I feel like hooking up with Robert again, is maybe not the best idea. That's a problem for tomorrow, Gaffos. Yeah. Hey. 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 Um, so, so how, how are, are things? things? Robert stares at me. I know you're not here for small talk. Nope. I'm here for your big dick. I shrug. <laughs> um, yeah, you got me. Robert closes the gap between us and whispers a series of increasingly filthy things in my ear as he backs oh. me into his room. I started to think maybe this was a good idea after all. Yes. Oh, yes. No, no. This is all I needed, man. No, this no, no, no. Uh, hey. Robert nudges me awake. Oh, hey. Are you kicking me out? Kicking is a strong word. Kicking is a strong word. It's more like a gentle, friendly push. He's friendly! <laughs> gentle and friendly are not words I would ever use to describe Robert. See, he's putting in an effort. I sit up and stretch. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sore. Oh. And I haven't had hickeys like this since college. Jeez. I'm not doing this again if you're just going to force me to leave. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You'll say that next time, too. <laughs> oh. I can't. I can't. Oh. I throw my clothes back on while Robert smokes a cigarette on his balcony. Okay, so a little around, a guess. little knife to the heart right there. Yeah. Yep. I walk back home. My phone's creaking. Damn. Uh, what's his problem? Honestly, Manuel, if I was not with you, I'd be a slut. I know. You said that. <laughs> you said it to your coworkers. You said it to... <laughs> <laughs> to your sister, I'm sure. Just he said it to everybody. <laughs> it's a C date. <sighs> we got the same thing going on. Robert dates. Well, it's been a long day. <clears throat> okay, so just about ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall to my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. The kids need some sleep. As I pass the room, I can hear a faint sound, but I can't quite make it. Okay, is she crying? <clears throat> Knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda. Oh, not right now. Oh. oh, what's going on? I know what's so wrong with the panda. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, leave her alone. All right, I'll leave you be. I back out of the room and close the door gently behind me. Chimney starts crying again. Oh, how wow. dare you leave our baby! Uh, well, sometimes you just gotta give them space. Uh, okay. They'll come to us once they're ready. Mm. But, oh. It hurts. Yeah, that's so sad. Mm, <clears throat> yeah, fuck Robert. It's all about We Amanda. did! Oh, okay. Yeah. Her <laughs> poor little baby. Yeah, let's see if she let's can talk she... with us too. Okay. okay. Ooh, oof. It's a little bit of an attitude right there. Morning, Morning Amanda. <laughs> Morning. Okay. She won't look at me. Yikes. So, anything big going on at school uh, today? No. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? Do you not like that I'm not respecting myself? <laughs> uh. She Amanda pulls the toaster level up and <clears throat> takes her still freezer, freezer burn waffle out before it's finished cooking. I have to go. Oh. Um, Amanda picks her bag and thing, out. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're dead. You don't leave them alone. You push and push until they tell you. I think no. Ah. Mm. Oh. I, this is an emotional episode. We got like rejected by the person that you wanted, and now our daughter's giving us like some teenage attitude, but still, we want to help. We can. Ah. She's clearly hey. crying still. Hey, pumpkin. What? Can you come here for a second? There's a moment of silence. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to say sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, Kitty. I get scared when I know something's wrong, and I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Dad, I... So just, whatever it is, and you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but whatever it is, you know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. Mm -hmm. Honey, you know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping I could speak a language we both understand. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting has set by now. Ta-da! Dad? It took me a really... Sorry you're sad, but I support you 100% cake! Oh! This is beautiful! <clears throat> it's strawberry! Oh. And that gives me a big old hug. I grab some plates and forks and serve up some delicious cake. So, it's really stupid. What is? This whole thing. I know I've been really weird lately and there's just... 
I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like... I'm listening. Do you want me to take notes? Yeah. Is this going to be on the test? I guess I should start from the top. So you know Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma, Emma R. The, the... Oh, God. I don't know. Right. Oh, Got thank it. God. Wow. Proud of you. And... Anyways, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while, oh, but then I found out from Rosie Ann that both two of the endless Grace and Noah all went to a party at Mackenzie Epps' on the same night. They all told me they were busy studying for the Calc AB final. They ditched me! Uh, Yikes. So, another important piece of information is like, God, this is embarrassing. I am um have a crush on Noah. And, uh, Who's Noah? Yeah, that's a thing. Who's this, who this mystery child who yeah. thinks he's good enough for my dog? <laughs> What? Whoa, I had no idea. I definitely didn't know that. Okay. You're a bad liar. So are you. I learned from the worst. Oh. Anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was MR, as you promised not to tell anybody. I didn't come... I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama, so I just kept quiet and kept going about my business. Oh, I'm no. in the size. And then one day, I invited everybody out to get nachos at the mall, and after not texting me back for like two hours, and even none of them were ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds, they all say they're busy, like simultaneously. So I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were out of chips, and they really, really wanted nachos. Totally understandable. Uh, yep. So I go to the mall anyway, I go to the food court, and who do I see there but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah, all hanging out, eating together, and eating nachos without me. What? what? <laughs> it gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching them, and I realize that Noah has his arm around MRR, which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss. Oh, my God. Oh, it's got good. Yes, I know. So I storm over there, and I'm like, hey. And Grace drops a nausea on her shirt because, of course, she does. And MRR just, like, glares at me. Grace, Grace, Grace. Nothing's coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace, Grace is, is the... Uh, the... Well, yeah, but that's not the important part. Grace is the one nobody li really likes, or I guess that's me now. But anyway, nobody will say anything, and I'm just like, you guys suck. Oh. Did you realize it's not the most eloquent thing to say, but I was very angry and really embarrassed, and I just wanted to get out of there. So I left, without nachos, might I add, which only further contributed to the shitty day. And I immediately drafted a super long text in the group chat asking them why they've been so weird. And I wrote another one to MRR asking how long the Noah thing's been going on. And sorry, I know that's a lot. He's still following. Oh, okay. Get a load of this. MRR says, you know what? Let me just read it to you. And then pulls out her phone and reads word for word an arduously long string of text messages. Can you believe that? Thank you. I can't oh, you. believe that. I cannot I cannot believe that. I care so much about my social life and mental well-being. But man, do I not understand what she's talking about. It's all beyond me, but I can't. I am trying my hardest to be supportive. They were dating in secret for like months. Ooh. So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend, and she's like, "Well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being my friend." And I was like, "Okay." And then she left me on red. And then wait, left me on red. What's that? Oh no! Oh, like she saw my message and didn't reply, and I know because there's always there's our read receipts. Oh. I don't know what read receipts are, but I'm just going to nod and pretend I understand, like what Robert did to us. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So while this is all happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am Ooh. because she's at least being kind of reasonable. And I'm venting to her about how pissed I am at everybody and stuff. And then out of nowhere, Noah texts me and is like, how can you say that about me? And I'm like, say what about you? Uh, she's and a he slut. tells me that Emma P sent screenshots of everything I told her to the group chat that I got kicked out of. <gasps> Fuck! Damn, I, right. think I, I think you lost me at screenshots, but that definitely uh, sounds bad. Yeah, there's so much more, but honestly, it's all just really stupid teenager stuff. The problem is that everyone dropped me. Half of my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. I'm your oh. friend. Amanda. Amanda, I'm so sorry. so sorry. I was expected it from everyone else, but <sighs> Emma R has been there since mom died. I can't believe she would just stab me in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Oof, don't <laughs> stab the cake. I got stabbed. The cake gets stabbed. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. Yeah. Boys ain't shit. Like, what did I do wrong? Why did everyone just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. Oh, oh little wow. baby wavy. And as mad as I am at everyone, like, I missed him, Dad. Mm-hmm. Amanda looks so dejected. I almost can't take it. What could I possibly oh, say to help? No. 
Anyways, that's it. That's the whole sort of tale. Thanks for listening. Tune in next time for mm. more hot gossip. Wow. I like this cheese me, but I don't like that it's our kid. Yeah. I know. It's pretty dumb. It's, it's not, not dumb. dumb. It's not dumb. No. It's a stupid thing to be upset over. Man, that your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. I guess. Unless you've secretly been a robot who's been approximating human mm-hmm. feelings this whole time. Dad, if I was you? a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long time like ago. Like this. Rum, 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 rum. <laughs> she turns. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Which one? Not all friends. Real friends. High school sucks. Real friends don't do that. When you get older, you start realizing the sort of people you want to associate yourself with. Do you really want to surround yourself with people who would do something like that to their friend? It takes a lot of work to find and maintain meaningful friendships. It took me a long time to figure that out myself, and I wish I had learned it sooner. If the other person isn't putting the effort in to show you how much they care, it's not worth it. You're not beholding to being their friend. Ultimately, I think this says way more about their character than it does about yours, because you're amazing, and if they can't see that, well, that's their problem. Yeah. Mm, I'll keep that in mind. Our baby. Did we just uh, eat that that whole cake? Oh, my God. Yes, we did just eat that whole cake. Well, good (laughs) time. Amanda gets up to go to her room. Before she closes her door, she turns around. Hey, Hey. Pops. Yes. Thank you. Oh, you're always welcome. Love you, Amanda. I I love love you too, Pops. I love you too, Dad. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that was... Good parenting. High five. High five. Eh. Wow. Yeah. Okay, next time. Yeah, we'll, next time we're gonna... forgetting about Robert. Fuck that Fine. guy. We did it twice. Yeah, Damien is the one that needs our energy, I think. Okay. I wanted to try Joseph, see if his creepy wife, like, what's their deal to you? Okay. All right, we'll try Joseph. <laughs> next time on Marla Plays. Yeah, stay safe, sane, and smiling, everyone. And sexy. Bye.